Hi, it's Tuesday. We're looking at April 21st, and I want to remind you that yesterday, hopefully, you got a chance to go onto the website that's posted here on your weekly list for week four. Uh, it's going to be right here looking like this, and you can just scroll all around on the right hand side and choose the beats per minute on whichever vocabulary term you want to hear. And then you just press start, and it's going to count off four beats per measure for you. And it's fun to kind of like drag it and see how slow and how fast it can get. So that helps review our tempi, our vocabulary words that are all about the tempo or speed of music. We are starting with a rhythm reading. We're going to go ahead and speak through it slowly while adding labels, and then we'll do the whole thing. So we're starting on beat one. We know that our eighth note pair makes us break it up into one and. Beat two is exactly the same. Three is just one sound, so we only have one thing to write, and that's the number. Four only has one sound, just that quarter note, so we'll just write the number. Our half note is going to start on beat one, and because it contains beat two as well, our voice will stretch over the, the moment in time that would be beat two. That means that we have reached beat three. It's divided in half. The second half will be the and. And we have four and. Beat one, two, three, four and. This is going to be that very last moment of measure three, just squeaking that sound in before we reach our bar line. Measure four is completely half notes. We're going to have the first half of this measure filled in one and two but we do not say two because we're still holding our voice. We're going to have beats three and four, the second half of this measure, completely creating three and four. We do not say four. Our voice is still held over. Let's speak the whole thing. We're going to use a andante tempo today. We're going to uh, use our walking speed. So one, two, something like this. Here we go. I'll count you in. One, two, Ready, go. One and two and three, four. One, three and four and one, two, three, four and one, three. All right, we made it. Um, there is some percussion sound when you use the rhythms here on Note Flight. I'm not sure if you can pick it up in the video. If you want to hear that rhythm again, just go back, replay. We're going to do the final error detection. This was yesterday. And here we are. You can see it jumps around. It starts on Do and it ends on Do. However, there's some crazy leaps here. So you're expecting to see it walk up like normal. We have a repeated pitch here on me, and we're walking up. We're walking up on quarter notes. And when we reach do all the way up here, we have a leap down from do to so, and we end on do. Nice and normal. Alrighty. So I'm going to go ahead and sing do here. So our scale, if we were singing together in the classroom, would be do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. So we're expecting to reach do. So just reviewing our solfege, we're starting on do. We're going up to re. We're starting on mi. Mi again. Going up to fa. Going up to so going up to la, going up to t, and we reached do. To make this easier, I am going to label our solfege. We have the repetition of me here. There should be two of those, unless I make that the error. And this is probably the hardest part. Double checking anything else that's been on that line before. Where was that note on the line? Here it was. So we can label it easily now that we've already taken a look. Do, so, do. All right, do is here. I'm going to sing this one time and challenge you 
am I changing and making an error in measure one? Or am I changing and making an error in measure two? I'll count you in. One, two, ready, listen. Do, re, mi, 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 fa, so, la, ti, do, so, do. Did something change in measure one? Or did something change in measure two? You probably picked up on the fact that measure one was different. I'm gonna sing it again. Oops, that's weird. One, two, ready, listen. Do, re, mi, 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 fa, so, la, ti, do, so, do. In measure one, I changed beat two. I changed the rhythm. I turned it into an eighth note pair. You heard do, re, mi, 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 fa, so. Measure two was accurate. Nothing changed, no errors. All right, so you would wanna circle this whole measure on Friday when you need to know how to do error detection on your own. If you are just typing your answers in that day, you can just type in air detection number one, measure eight, uh, measure one changed. Or if your answer is measure two, measure two changed. We'll piece that together later. All right, so you have a label the Soulfish PDF. And I've gone ahead and taken it from here into paint so that I can draw under it or type under it and get our Soulfish syllables. Oh no, typo! Both of these melodies... Hmm. This melody contains eight measures. I'll fix that for you. You shouldn't see a typo. This melody contains eight measures. The first four are mostly stepwise, walking to the neighboring solfege syllables. The last four measures contain many skips and steps and leaps. Label each music note with solfege. We are in the key of C major, as we have been all quarter long. This melody starts and ends on Do. So I'm going to go ahead and label those. All right. So we know that the beginning is going to be a lot of just moving to the next note, watching for repetition. I'm going to pull this out so we can go all the way over. We started on Do. And we've immediately walked up to Re. We're leaving Re. We've reached the lowest line. That's going to be Mi. We've gone up to Fa and back down to Mi and back down to Re. Now without going to Do again with the ledger line, measure two starts going back up Mi, Mi again up to fa, up to so, walking it down, back down to fa, and measure two ends on me on the lowest line. We have a jump, we have a leap. So is on the line, la is in the space above it. We've reached la. We're going back down. So. Fa, we're going up. So, la, still up. T, and in measure four we reach do. Now this is going to look very similar to the air detection. Do, so, do. Second line from the bottom. Second line from the bottom. What do we call it? Second line from the bottom. What do we call it? Second line from the bottom. What do we call it? This is the pitch. So and we end with Do on our ledger line. Now that measures one through four are labeled, and pause if you need to, it's gonna be a lot easier to work on measures five, six, seven, and eight, because we've already, ooh, typo, we've already identified those pitches. So I'm gonna ask you to pause here, 
and I'm gonna put the answers up in just one moment. All right, I'm hoping you completed measures five, six, seven, and eight on your own. Using the information slowly and carefully that you've already acquired, this pitch has already been labeled way over here. It is the second space for the bottom. That is la. It's gonna walk down to so. <laughs> I got caps lock on. We've gone down, but not as far down as do. This is actually Ray. Walking it right up to me. A little bit of a skip. Me is on the line. Fa would be in the space. So would be on the line. Our middle line, oh look, they're right, right above and below each other. On the middle line, we have the pitch T, and then we end on do. Go ahead and make these on your paper, please. Ooh, accidental rhyme. I'm gonna fix the way that I typed law since I had caps lock. And I'm gonna sing it once. This is do. I have not practiced this. I hope I don't mess up. All eight measures. Two, ready, and do, re, mi, fa, mi, re, mi, mi, fa, so, fa, mi, la, so, fa, so, la, ti, do, so, do. your solfege labeled. Tomorrow is not going to need a video. It's just the PowerPoint, YouTube, and you. That means that your video three is going to be on Thursday. So we're not reaching a total of five videos this week. We're only going to be needing four. Let me know how it goes with your composer because tomorrow is your first grade of the week. Keep in mind, Tempe, keep in mind, solfege, and I'll see you next time. Bye!